Hi, my name is Maria Castro. Sorry if I can't speak very well because I'm sick. But anyway, how many in here have worn something because so a celebrity wore it um, and you wanted to wear it as well? Okay. <laughs> so I think you guys are going to find my, my cultural artifact very interesting because this is a Panama hat. Um, this Panama hat represents many things in culture. Um, I think it's important for people to know that the Panama hat is worn by celebrities and political figures. But what many people don't know is that it represents many things for the Latin American culture. By learning more about the Panama hat, you will have a better understanding of the Latin American culture. Um, first, I will discuss how the Panama hat um, relates to the, to the Latin American culture, and then I will discuss how I identify with this culture. Okay, so the Panama hat has been in the fashion world since the 1800s. Um, the Panama hat, as you may know, is from Panama. From Panama. Um, many people don't know that the Panama hat is actually made in Ecuador. Um, it by the 19th century, many smart businessmen from Panama began to export this hat to Ecuador, um, where the finest hats were being made at the time. Um, what made this hat very successful in the Panama in the Panama industry was that it was made out of great quality of palm. The palm that's used is very thin, which makes this hat very nice because it, it won't bend. It can bend, but it won't get too hard. Mm. I use this Panama hat as also by the 1836, um, the Cuenca people from Ecuador began to establish itself as the main export of the world. The culture of the, of the Panama hat is very rich one that since the 1836 to now, many people that worn this hat have used it to show that they are people of great quality. Um, many people that worn this hat have been like um, Theodore Roosevelt, Winston Churchill and Ernest Hemingway, and recently um, people that have worn this have been Martin Scorsese, um, Emma Watson, and Johnny Depp, I believe. They wear this hat because, um, like the people that made it, they show that they have done and continue to do great quality work. So I just discuss um, the origins of the Panama hat, now I discuss how I identify with this hat. So I'm an aspiring film director, and I consider myself a person of high quality. Um, back then I used to not like hats. I used to say that they were um, for people that went to trips. Um, but then I began to notice that since I began to do my films, I needed to have a hat that showed that I was a person that did great quality work. So my parents began telling me that I needed to get a hat because normal caps wouldn't make everything look nice. So they got me this Panama hat on my 18th birthday. So since then, um, I've used this hat to show that I like doing films of great quality. And many people come to me and tell me that I must be doing something good because I have a hat of such high quality. And they also tell me how I, they could get one, which is kind of hard because they come from Ecuador, but they can easily be um, bought through online. So to conclude it, I first spoke about the historical background of the Panama hat, and then I discussed how I relate to the Panama hat. Now, every time that you see somebody wearing this kind of hat, you might notice that they're people of high quality, and 
they're not just wearing a hat to look stylish, and they're showing that they can do great quality. Of